All right, the National Dog Show returns tomorrow. There's guaranteed to be a new winner this year. Last year, Scottish Deerhound named Claire became the first back to back winner in 20 years. Claire has now retired to motherhood, so there's a new breed making its appearance this year, the Bracco Italiano. But while the sense of competition is heightened in the area, the show's co-hosts say a much different atmosphere prevails backstage. That's the best part of the day for me, really, to just to back there and just see the owners and they're all talking with each other. They're having the best time. And in preparation of the big show, one of the judges is joining us now. We welcome Adrian Woodfork and his dog, Vito. And of course, Adrian is very familiar to KCRA3 viewers. He used to be a reporter and host here. Uh, but specific about the dog show, how did you even get into hosting well, and judging? Yeah, well, <laughs> you know, it, it was an easy progression for me because I started when I was 12 years old. <laughs> and then I, yeah. when I went to my first dog show with a dachshund, I saw a Doberman and I said, oh, this is the dog of my dream. But anyway, years later, I was able to get, when I moved out of my parents, <laughs> a Doberman. And then I became a breeder and then a natural progression would be becoming a judge if you want to. And I really wanted to become a judge. Yeah. So I'm a, I'm a judge, breeder, and an exhibitor. Nice. nice. Now, when it comes to judging, uh, again, Vito, beautiful dog here, mm -hmm. what are you looking for when you see these dogs in front of you? Well, um, the AKC has a standard for each breed, mm -hmm. and a lot of times people will say, well, how can you choose one dog over another, right. a big dog over a little dog, or whatever? So it's all about choosing the dog that comes the closest to the standard, I see. to the standard that the AKC, like Vito is an excellent representative, he's a champion of the Doberman breed, and there could be a Pekingese. Now maybe that Pekingese might be a better Pekingese than Vito is a Doberman. Okay. So you go with that. But do, I, I will be judging the working uh, class at, okay. at the show. And um, when you, what you do, the standard is, calls for, like on a Doberman, an almond eye. He <laughs> has an almond eye. His head, his skull is the same length as his muzzle. Okay, so all wow. of those things, and then you look for the teeth, make sure that in this breed they require that you have all the teeth. And a big fault is if they have missing teeth. So not all breeds do that, but the standard for the Doberman is mm -hmm. such. So then you go down and you feel the shoulders. He has tight shoulders. He has good, and for a working dog especially, mm -hmm. you want to see the muscling. And um, then his tail extension. Nice short tail. <laughs> exactly. His, his tail extension, yeah. not the uh, length of the tail, but how it comes off the top line. That's excellent. It doesn't stick straight in the air. Mm -hmm. That would be called a fault. Adrian, as a judge, how do you prepare for the competition? Obviously, we know how the trainers and the owners prepare, but how do you personally prepare? Well, before each show, I go over the standards mm. uh, because I don't want to go in there and look like a fool not knowing what I'm doing. I want to be able to choose the best dog. So I go over the standards each night or sometimes just in the morning mm -hmm. to make sure that I totally understand. Because, you know, I judge 28, at least 28 working dogs. You'll see me judge a, a lot of working dogs tomorrow. Yeah. and. Um, I need to know, be familiar with all the standards. Sure. And so I'm trying to choose the dog that's going to best represent the working group in the best in show yeah. lineup. Yeah. And it's just basically a lot of studying. Yeah. Well, we welcome you back. Uh, for yeah. those who may not know, Adrian was the first African-American reporter here at KCRA, so it is definitely an honor to have you back in the studio. I know a lot of folks were excited to see you this morning when you got here. It's a good show, <laughs> and I, I, it's great to be back. Yeah. You know, the, the station has changed in yeah. so many ways and a lot of new faces, and I'm so proud to see you yeah. behind the anchor desk. You know, <laughs> you. we didn't have very many African-Americans. And here he is trying color. to take over again. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's welcome so anytime. To see you. But it, it was great. Yeah. It, it, it's great being back and I appreciate the time to, to inform the public about what they are looking at when they uh, look at the dog show. Awesome. All right. The National Dog Show airs tomorrow at noon right after the Macy's Thanksgiving Parade on KCRA 3. We'll be right back.